I don't know if it's the most important story in the country right now. Uh, I mean, it's not, but I, but it is at least the funniest. And so you know all about Sam Britton. He's the former Biden, Biden energy official who uh, liked to cross-dress and called himself they, them, and was also into bestiality role play and all kinds of other sick and insane things that none of us needed or wanted to know about, but we do now. Um, and he's also the guy who got fired after stealing luggage from uh, what we thought was uh, only only two women on two separate occasions. They stole their luggage right out of the airport, out of the baggage claim. Now, I told you at the time that that you know this guy, pretty clear to me, stealing the luggage. He's he's not stealing it because he wants the luggage, right? Nobody needs that much baggage, especially someone like him already who already comes with so much baggage to begin with. But it's very clear that he is doing this and he's targeting women because it's all part, again, of the sick, twisted fetish. Uh, he has a thing for stealing and wearing women's clothing. That was clear to me. And that brings us to this tweet from a woman named Asya Kam- Kamsin, I think. We'll just call her Asya. Hopefully she's okay with that. Uh, here's the tweet. And um, let me see, can we pull the tweet up? There it is. So my name is Asya Tanzanian fashion designer based in Houston, Texas, USA. I lost my bag in 2018 in the D.C. airport. Recently, I heard the news on Fox News about Sam Britton. Luggage issue. Surprisingly, I found his images where he wore my custom-made outfit, which was in the lost bag in 2018. And then you can see the, uh, the dated photo of her in the dress in 2018. And then you also can see Britton in, uh, in the exact same outfit. So it's a rather distinct outfit. Um, it's uh, very distinct because she made, she custom made the outfit. She's a fashion designer. And her luggage goes missing in 2018, four years ago. And then Britton turns up wearing her custom clothing. Uh, you know, it, it's it's pretty close to a case closed on this thing. So what this means is that, there he is. And I, apparently he's also wearing this wrong. He's wearing it, I think he's wearing it backwards or something. He doesn't even know how to wear the, wear the outfit. What this means is that Britton the uh, baggage bandit has been patrolling our airports for years. He's been lurking in the baggage claim area, like some kind of uh, predatory, you know, forest creature on the prowl. This, this is like when when all the small dogs and cats in a neighborhood start going missing, and you know that there must be a coyote in the woods. Except this coyote steals women's luggage and then parades around in their clothing. Um, so when we say, here's what makes this so. Uh, apt is that when we say that these men are appropriating the female identity, well, he was literally doing that, right? I mean, we were saying that about Sam Britton when he was first hired and, and we were supposed to applaud him. And I know I said, many other people said that he's making a mockery, he's appropriating womanhood and all the rest of it. Like, we didn't realize how literally correct we were. He's actually stealing their clothing and putting it on. Yet nobody ever connected the dots. That's what's interesting. At least we don't think they did. You know, I like to imagine that there was maybe one detective somewhere out there who was uh, at the station late one night smoking cigarettes and drinking black coffee and pouring through all these missing baggage cases. And then, uh, you know, he realized that it was all done by one man and that there was a criminal mastermind on the loose. And he had the bulletin board up with all the newspaper clippings and the, you know, and the uh, and the lines connecting them and all that. And he realized that it was Sam Britton the entire time. And he tried to make the arrest, but the brass at the station, stopped him. That's what I like to imagine happened anyway. And if it didn't happen, then someone should make a movie where something like that does happen. All I know is that now, like, we are seeing the beginning of a, of a new Me Too movement, except that in this case, it's just women coming forward because Sam Britton stole their baggage. It's going to be, it's a whole Me Too thing now. Sam Britton is the Harvey Weinstein of cross-dressing baggage thieves. He's the, uh, he's the Bill Cosby of baggage claim is Sam Brennan. And I just hope that more women have the courage to speak out. It is like, it's, in all seriousness, it's, it's pretty disturbing too. Can you imagine like you lose your baggage and then, and then this creep, then, you know, this creep turns up wearing it. Um, so stay tuned more on that. I will say, if you're a woman, if you're a woman who has lost your baggage at any point in the last decade, anywhere within the continental United States, or probably, or probably anywhere else in the globe, we don't know how far this conspiracy stretches. But if you are in that category, I would start looking through 
Well, let me stop myself. I was going to say, I would start Googling images of Sam Britton to see if you can find him wearing your clothing. But if you do that, you're going to see a lot of other things about Sam Britton that you don't want to see. So never mind. You know what? Maybe it's better just not to know. You probably don't want to know. And it, all you could do now is move on with your life. And that'll do it for this portion of the show as we move over to the members block. If you're not a member yet, become a member and use code Walsh at checkout for two months free on all annual plans. Hope to see you there. If not, talk to you tomorrow. Godspeed.